Hi, good evening. Hi. Hello, how Hi. are you? Hi, good evening. How's everybody tonight? Hello, hello. Hi, Ibrahim. How are you? So fine, how are you? I'm okay, I'm okay. All right, very good. I'm fine. Getting everything ready and everything. So, yeah, everything's okay. How was your day, guys? Everything okay during the day? Yeah? Yeah, everything nice. Yeah, a little bit tired. So. Tired? Okay. All right, I get it. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. So, guys, welcome to another class. Remember that yesterday I told you that we're going to talk a little bit about verbs that go with problems as well as some expressions or verbs that go with beliefs. Okay? So, uh, it's not something very complicated. I will share my PPT. And I sent, not so long ago, a video on the group. Did you get it? Did you get the video, guys? Uh, Can you check if you got the video? Yeah, you got it? Yes, okay, very I got good. it. That one, we're going to be using it later on, and I'm going to tell you how, okay? So, but it's there. The video is like about five minutes, I think. But we're going to be talking about it, or you guys are going to be talking about it once you are in your groups, okay? But right now, let me begin by sharing the presentation here. All right, problems and belief. All right. Yeah, that's the video. <laughs> All right. So here, if you have watched the platform, we have these verbs right here. They are from the platform. They're not like nothing new. So here we have this one. Roxana, can you read the um, problems that we have here or the verbs? Yep, and aggravate. Aggravate, uh huh? Avoid. Avoid, very good. Cause. Cause, uh huh? Deal with. Very good. Um, identify. Identify. <coughs> identify. Identify, uh huh? Ignore. Uh -huh. Ignore. Run into. Yes. Solve. Solve, all right? So if you notice, thank you, Roxana. If you notice, right on the other side, you have a problem. So we can say aggravate a problem, avoid a problem, cause a problem, deal with a problem, identify a problem, ignore a problem, run into a problem, and the last one is solve, okay? I want you to take a look at them and tell me if uh, by any chance you don't understand any of those, or I mean some of them, if you don't understand like, one or two, or you understand everything. Yeah, Miguel, very good. Roxana, you understand everything? Just run into. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, I'll tell you. Give me a second. All right, very good. Anybody else? Armando, Jonathan, Eric, anybody else? Or you guys understand? Hi, Julio. All right, Edwin, very good. All right, Idalia, no problem with the verbs that we have there. Vero, David, Eli, no? Everybody okay? Avoid. Avoid, okay, okay. So we have run into and avoid, okay? Any other? Any other guys or we're okay with the rest? Okay, very yep. good. So, okay, very good. So, um, can someone help me explain for our classmates what run into means? What does run into mean for you? Thank you, Ellie. Oops, that's not it. Well, El, um, anybody, what does run into mean? Like, how could you explain that? Um, I think when you run into something is when something unexpected happens all right okay so it's not something that you are waiting for it to happen it's not something that you're like oh my goodness i want this problem to happen right now so run into is something like you just like came across the problem without like you really knowing it was going to happen all right so you say oh, i ran into a problem this morning with my boss I wasn't planning to, and probably my boss wasn't either, but we had this argument. So we ran into a problem because the, I don't know, the merchandise was not delivered on time, for example, all right? And avoid is the opposite. Like, kind of like you say, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in, like, into a problem, so I avoid it. I stay away from it. So, for example, if I know that um, if I don't give the report to my boss today, 
all right i'm gonna get in trouble so avoid the problem and i better finish my my report and i give it to him or her on time so i avoid the problem i avoid having <clears throat> having to deal with something bigger after that so when you avoid something you kind of like you separate yourself and you don't want to get into a fight you don't want to get into these i don't know problematic situation that would be a void all right or anybody else has a different idea or you can help me with a void anybody anybody else with a void guys can you help me out here or i don't know if roxana and someone else that asked about running to and avoid you understand it a little better yeah a little bit yeah you understand it all right let me see here um eric says got some tech problems i'll be back oh, okay eric had to step out all right very good so we're going to talk about these verbs that we're using right now okay so remember because they are verbs you can say he ignores a problem or he ignored the problem you can conjugate it in any tense all right and with any subject okay they run into a problem we run into a problem uh, she solves the problem or she solves the problem every time so you can use them with whenever like what it, however you want to all right no questions about these uh verb guys no we're okay right all right then we have this one here and we have verbs of believe all right so the belief so they are a little bit different because in this one you are hopeful that something's going to happen miguel angel do you mind reading them for us all right, all right. Verbs, verbs of belief action be positive bet figure have a hunch suppose mm -hmm. Be certain, be sure, doubt, guess, know for a fact, or suspect. Right. Or suspect, very good. Uh, take a look at them, guys, and tell me if everything is okay with you and you understand everything. Or if there is any of them that you're like not so sure about. Take a look at them and let me know. Julio, you understand all of them, Julio? <coughs> Trying to do my best now, okay? <laughs> now because I come late to class, okay? But I'm taking the, the idea, okay? All right, okay, that's okay, Julio. All right. Anybody else, guys? You understand it? Uh, Jonathan, you understand? Armando, you understand? Vero, Efrain? Yeah, very yeah. good. When, when you say when you say you have a hunch, it's like uh, you have a, an idea. You have like a feeling. A feeling. Oh. A feeling that something is going to happen. Positive, for example. You say, oh, I applied for this job position and I have a hunch it's going to happen. All right. So I have a feeling that it's going to like something's going to, you know, turn out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Eric, nice to see you again, Eric. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Because, um, yeah, I. I you were not in class yesterday, right, Eric? No, right? I didn't see you yesterday. Yeah, I've been working late, so I can't Ah, okay. That's that. okay. That's okay. That's Don't why, worry about yeah. it. Okay, that's fine. Sorry about it. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Anybody else besides having a hunch? Um, teacher? Yes. What about dubbed? Dubbed? Ah, dubbed is when you think, mm, maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> when you have a doubt, kind of like a question. Kind of thing like you're wondering, maybe it will happen, maybe it won't, but you believe it will, for example. Okay. All right, that's dubbed. Very good. Anything else, guys? Armando, everything okay? For the ones that I don't see, everything okay? Idalia, I don't see you, Idalia. I usually see you. All right. Hi. Hi, that's okay. All right, very good. Okay, so what I want you to do is if, um, do me a favor, can you take a picture of this right now? please let me know when it's ready got it all right and take a picture of this one too hold on i'm just i'm just gonna move us here all right <coughs> finished yes okay yes all right, so what I want us to do right now is I'm gonna show you 
I'm gonna, I want you to take a picture of this and then we're gonna come back and then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna show you the other part of the PPT and then we're gonna do the part. That's why I send it to the group. So take a picture of this, undocumented immigrants, sexual assaults at work, police brutality and suicide. Take a picture of that. Okay. All right. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to talk with your partners about these problems, all right? And try to use as many of, for example, these uh, verbs that we like, you know, we were talking about. For example, you say, yeah, I ran into this, I don't know, um, problem at work because I knew that someone was being sexually like harassed or something at work and blah, 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 all right? And then you can say, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know, like I suspected that my boss was whatever, right? So the idea here is to take, to actually take time and see if you can use these verbs, it's like particularly these verbs, all right? Then you can use them on a conversation given a scenario that is these questions that I just gave you here, not questions, but these uh, problems, okay? So talk about these problems, try to use those verbs, all right? Of course, you can use many more, but the idea is for, you, is for you to use the ones that we want you to learn, okay? Do you understand what we're going to be doing? Yes, Veronica. Very sorry. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's, that's, okay. that's a mistake. <laughs> that's okay, Vero, that's fine. All right, so uh, you guys understand what you guys are gonna be doing and working on your groups, yes? Yeah, no, hello, you're quiet again. All right, questions? Hi, Joseph, oh my goodness, hi, Joseph. All right, and Daisy, hi, Daisy. How are you? All right, very good. So guys, do you understand what, you, what, um, what I want you to do? Yes? Can you repeat the activity? Yes. yes. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, I'm going to, well, you, did you take the pictures? Yes? Yeah, you took the pictures. Okay, so you took a picture of problems and you took a picture of belief, the verbs that we are like trying to use here, okay? And then you were supposed to take a picture of some problems that I came up with, okay? So what I want you to do is nothing complicated, but I want you to take time and practice speaking about those problems that I gave you, trying to use the verbs that we were learning today and the verbs for problems as well as the verbs for beliefs. Do you understand? Yeah, so okay. it's just a speaking right now, okay? That's what I want you guys to do. So I'm gonna send it to your group okay, right you group right now. All right, oh, you know what? I need to take the picture of my class. I need to take a picture every class for a report. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna send it right now. All right, very good. There you go. Remember, I'm gonna be coming into your groups and I wanna hear you talking about these problems and everything, so.
Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. different things about um, to this problem. I think the principal is, um, I don't know, the necessity for about to the other person need money or need the other things about location that in the community immigrants or um, go to the to the USA because in the other place is um, it's strange about the person immigrating to the other place for example um, to London or Mexico for example the people always go to the USA because think about the USA have more opportunity or differences but I think not, but is different. Yeah, I always thought that it's better to live in Canada or yeah. Australia. New Zealand actually is a great place to, to, to be, but it's a lot expensier. Uh, it's a lot more expensive than you think. Um, yeah. And some, some people migrate because they, they think and assume that everything is going to be easier. Life is hard. Life is hard anywhere. So you you just need to figure out how to live appropriately in the in where if, if you want to travel, you can do it. But anything nothing is going to change in in the grand scheme of things if you don't change yourself. Yes. Any thoughts, teacher? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I wanted to mm -hmm. see if you were paying attention. All right. Uh, you're talking about. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you're talking about immigration, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, I think, I mean, some people go because they follow the American dream, but when they actually get there, it's not such a dream, you know? So mm -hmm. it's a little bit complicated. You know, I, I yeah. recently spoke with a friend, a very good friend of mine, and she went to the States um, legally, but she doesn't have the permit, the permit to work over there, the permissions, all right? So she's a licenciada just like I am in English, and she speaks like, she speaks French, English, and Spanish. So she went there believing and hoping she was going to get a job as a teacher right away. But for two years, she didn't. All right. So she had to go clean up and she had to go do many things that she never thought she was going to work as. You know, so the American dream is not such a dream for a while, you know. So it's like that's very complicated sometimes yeah right so uh, yeah 
but then again, many um, people migrate at the end, so. Yeah. yeah, it's easier to make money in the US. Right, yeah. But it's also expensive, but, you know. Yeah, if, if you don't have enough financial education, right. and you, if you don't know anything about economics and how lending works, mm -hmm. you're screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty much. Anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And that Great. happens. Yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah. That's a mm -hmm. fun. Good. Okay. So I'll let you keep on talking. I'm going to go check in other groups. Okay. Okay. Bonsoir. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Uh, needs uh, immigrants. Uh, for example, in California, to different uh, uh, works that immigrants uh, do. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think all countries, they need immigrant people because here in all countries, we have immigrant people. But not everybody is on the commenter, yeah? I think, uh, I think the people in Central America, for example, in Panama, they have a lot of immigrant persons there, believe me, because they are trying to avoid his situation on his country, you know, about maybe government, they are really off with the people. They are, are trying to leave his situation, you know, but I think all the countries need immigrants. For example, in your country, we have a lot of immigrants here working. Now here in Metan, we have a lot, a lot of immigrant working persons from Honduras working on Ventus, you know, but I mean, uh, it's really hard when you have to do that like illegal, you know, when you don't have a choice, yeah, when you can avoid the situation. You, you have to solve a situation in your family and only that matter. And you can do it in your country. That's the, that's the thing, that's the really hard because you have to leave the family. It's easy when you have to go and you know maybe in two or three months you can go back and say hello to your family again. But when you can, when you have to pay $10,000 or make the trip, and you can be jailed. Right. Your room is controlling that you don't want to stay there, but you don't have a choice. You yeah. know, that's the, that's the problem. I think that's the really problem. And a lot of people don't have options mm. for the really bad situation in our country, for a bad right. government, for a government. Yeah. But I think so. Yeah. Now, Julio, I'm sorry, I was kind of like eavesdropping. Uh, so you were saying that there's a lot of immigrants in Metapan from Honduras. Oh, really? From Honduras. Yeah, they are working here with the Project Ventus, uh, the big, um, I don't know how you say that on English, the machines that make uh, energy, electrical energy from okay. the wind. Uh, okay. Oh, the windmills kind of thing. Uh, yeah. That, that, that right. kind of machine there are a lot of people working there because mm -hmm. uh, they maybe do that pro this project in another country okay they are doing right now here oh, all right okay interesting they are legal, but yeah all right okay okay cool all right keep on talking guys i'll let you talk i'm gonna go to another group <laughs> bye, bye. thank you bye <laughs> Let me think. Okay. Hi, Efrain. Hi, Roxana. What are you talking about right now? Which problem? Hi, teacher. Hi. Yeah, yes. you're working. We are working. All right. Okay. Which problem are you talking about or discussing? Oh, well, teacher, we were not talking about problems. We were talking, I mean, using the words of uh -huh. problems. Okay. The problems. All right. We were, we were that's making some sentences. Sure. Okay. With them. Okay. That's fine, Efrain. Um, did you did um were you guys able to take a picture of the problems I I I had for you of immigration? Um, just the birth of belief, teacher. 
And after that, I had this. I'm just gonna share quickly my, my screen with you guys. So I don't know if you had this one. Just give me a second. This one right here. Did you did, did you take a picture of this? Undocumented yes. immigrants, yeah? And you're talking like using the vocabulary of the verbs with these um, situations. Is that what you the were doing? Situations, yeah. Okay. okay. We have them, yeah. Okay, very good, nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go to like see like a couple of more groups and then we're coming back and then I'll tell you what to do next, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, interview. Uh-huh. Once he was I think he was just doing his job. Yeah. Making me nervous. Yeah, yes. And, and saying like rude rude words to me. But mm -hmm. I think he was just doing his job. Yeah, it's just a protocol that they need uh -huh. to follow. So. Yeah, it does. And I will say maybe not police brutality in my case, but like like your case, they were asking me something. They took my my wallet. They were looking for my ID and asked me mm -hmm. some questions. Yeah, in front of the people. You know, it's like a, as a, I will say teen, it's like a very normal when a police says, When hey, they want to, yeah. they, they, when they want to, how, how do you say, asking, asking you money, ah, well, <laughs> give no. you a ticket or something, yeah. they just no. look for a reason. <laughs> yeah. But that never happened to me, like they were asking for money or they want something. Yeah, but it's, I think it, ha it, it depends in the um, environment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Hi, Dalia. I don't know. But... Hi, Miguel. Hi. Hi. Hi, were you able to talk about them or are you still talking about them? Uh, we are talking about sexual assaults. Ah, sexual assaults. All right. We already went through them, but we are talking now more in depth. Ah, okay. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's good. All right. Give me like two more minutes, and then we're gonna go back to the main session, and then I'll tell you what to do. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you give me an example about um, using bear of belief, please? For any of the, any situation in particular, or just, um, oh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Um, I don't know, we can say that. Or suicide, for example. All right. So you can say, I guess people commit suicide because they are not happy with their lives. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know for a fact that uh i don't know a lot of a lot of uh, supervisors they tend to be or they tend to sexual harass people or assault sexual assault people not all of them of course but because they have this so-called power they feel they they can do things like that all right so you can say no for a fact that right yes okay mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Yep, no problem.
Hello there. Hi. All right. So I guess uh, perhaps you they were not... trending topics. They were what? Say. Trending topics worldwide. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. So I know most of you uh, were taught were able to talk a little bit about each of the uh, problems that I presented here. But if you were not able to finish, that's okay for you to practice a little bit with your partners. Okay. What I want us to do right now, I'm going to send you back to your groups. And because I sent the video that I want you to watch, uh, please, like, I don't know if you have been able to download it. Try to do it right now. I'm going to send you to your groups and watch the video. All right. If you have it on the computer, you can share it on your screen. Or if you're working on your, from your phone, you can also share it on your screen once you are talking with your partners. What I want you to do is watch it and then discuss about it because it's like they talk about problems in kind of like a hotel. All right. So kind of talk about it and see everything that's happening there. When you finish watching it, it takes like five minutes. All right. So when you finish watching it, you may discuss about, you know, what happened and what was the solution and what you would have done. All right. If you can use again, the verbs that we were like practicing for class, the verbs for problems and the verbs for being. So, okay, so what I want you to do right now, go back to your groups, watch the video. If you can share it, perfect. If not, each of you guys individually can be watching it. All right, you probably will finish at the same time watching it and then discuss about what you saw, what, what, like what the problems were, what was the situation, uh, whose fault was it, all right, and all that, okay? Got it? Yes? Yes. Excellent. All right. So again, you're going to keep on working with the same people that you were working with. Okay. There you go. Hi, Armando. Armando, can you hear me? Hi, Lydia. Lydia, are you there? Hi. Hi. Sorry. That's okay. Hi. Um, uh, Armando, is oh, there he is. All right, I thought he was not going to join us. Okay, he's there. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, hello, Armando. I think I don't know if you can share the video.
Have you already watched the video? Yeah, the finish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to to hear because, but it is pretty noisy. But um, I think. I They had to. Didn't. No, continue. Sorry. Okay. And he didn't resolve them their problems because yeah. he was only like a boy in science. Yeah. Okay. I think that we finish. Yeah, I think. Okay. Uh, Lydia and Armando, you were able to watch the video? Yeah. Yes, we yeah. have already. <laughs> yes. All right. So yeah. what happened? Tell me what happened on that video. Okay. I yeah. say him that I think that the problem is for the, for the persons who have the hotel uh -huh. because when you have uh, like a hotel a restaurant a store you, the first thing that you have to do is like to solve all the problem because right. the customers don't you have to avoid that situation with That's the customers right. because you have to give them a good experience about your service okay, your nice. products and all that all right okay and what about the guy? Did he pay attention to what the owner said? No, he ignored. <laughs> all. Yeah, he ignored everything, eh? And yeah. that was the first room he gave away. Oh my goodness, all right? <laughs> okay. Armando, do you remember any of the problems they uh, ran into in the room? For example, the window. Yeah. And also the air conditional, I think. Right, the air conditioning. Uh -huh. What else? Everything was broken there, huh? Also, the, <laughs> the floor okay. was, there's no water. There was no, like, running water in? Water in the, in the bathroom. Right, okay, very good. 
Would you like to like have that experience, Armando and Lydia, or no? Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I I had one experience. Oh my like goodness! That, and really? It was like uh, no disagree, so I don't like it. Okay, and what did you do, Lydia? Uh, we changed of hotel. Okay, I think that's the yeah. best option. I think that <laughs> yeah. is, that that is experience will only be perfect in a horror movie oh my goodness not kidding it <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you expect a different service because it's not for free you yeah. know so it's like yeah you're paying for yeah, this they were paying. <laughs> right and yeah all right very good okay i think everybody had a um a time to watch it and talk about it so we're gonna go back in like a minute okay okay Thank you. Welcome. For the reason I think that when you have to go to make a reservation, always you have to see the opinions, you know, of the person that went there. For example, two years ago I went in a Rotan Honduras and I went in a hotel in a hotel really nice but i saw the opinion from the people and always they said oh very nice hotel, really clean area really nice people working there really a nice attention very nice food and only one person said that uh, i don't like because they don't give me a control for the air conditioner and that's it you know you think uh, you say okay it can be a really nice option yeah but if you found a person like norman mm, really hard i think you have to leave it All right, guys, were you able to watch the video? Yes, yes. yeah, all right. Okay, so what do you guys think? What was the problem? Tell me. I already sp spoke with Lydia and Armando and all some other people I was listening to. Uh -huh. So what happened? What was the problem? The hotel was in poor condition. In very poor conditions, all right. Now the hotel or the room in particular? um the room i think yeah i i not be able to see all the video but oh ah, okay all right okay yeah. all right very uh, good we, uh huh we wanna, we wanna talk about the auto um has a window stuck and the wall had a crack right the bottom of the air conditioner was broke was the broken yes i don't know what was did it all right um, yeah and then you said goodbye. We said it. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, Miguel, has something like that ever happened to you? Your mic is off, Miguel. Well, <laughs> on my case, I saw, I one day was reading. Well, it happened more than once, but oh my goodness. I was reading <laughs> and I had food uh, cooking. Uh-huh. And uh, well, I ran into a serious problem of burning all the food that I had prepared. Oh my goodness. All right, okay, very good. All right, very good. Okay, Daisy, what about you? Has a problem like that? Have you ever run into a problem like that or not really? Um no. <laughs> no. All right. Okay. Very good. All right. Anything else like Joseph, Eric, Jonathan, Veronica, David, Julio. Have you ever run into a problem like that? No, I've never yeah. faced an issue like that. Okay. All right. No. Okay. I have stayed in some hostels that I are really hard to to sleep. Okay. But you know it. You you know this from the beginning. You ah, you're okay. just accepting your fate. Okay. <laughs> and all right. You're you're just pulling the night off. 
Okay. All right. Okay. But you know, like, you know what exactly you're going to be facing with, right? <laughs> okay. That's different. Yeah, you, right. You're paying like 10 bucks for a night. Oh so, my goodness. Yeah. You're, you know where you're, you're going to get. <laughs> right. Okay. Some, very good. Some cockroach, some mice. All right. Weird noises yeah. from the neighbors. Okay. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now, did uh, you guys watch the video? And whose problem? I mean, whose fault was it? The owner or the uh, guy? take care of the hotel when he left did the guy pay attention to what the owner said or the manager in this case uh, is type of the owner because mm. he's the owner of the hotel and right. he have to take care of, of it. all the all, all that right. yeah okay very good okay very nice all right, guys, so we're going to stop class right now because I have the other class right away. Um, with this, we finish section two. So remember that tomorrow we begin section three. All right. So thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night.